peas. One of the worst kept secrets with respect to Farming Simulator 25 is now officially announced. Even Giants gives a little nod to this in their own blog post saying, here is an open secret for you. Peas are coming to the game. It launches on November 12th. Little did we realize at the time when the Oxbow pack for Farming Simulator 22 launched that it would have such a profound impact on Farming Simulator 25. In FS22, the Oxbow pack was fairly light with Grape Harvester, two different configs of slurry and manure spreaders, as well as a wind rower, AKA merger. But the writing was on the walls as the future possibilities of Oxbow and Farming Simulator franchise because of the fact that they have a vast array of agriculture equipment that is offered for a huge variety of crops. On the Oxbow website, I count 20 different crops listed and 11 different market segments for products that they produce. From application tools like sprayers, spreaders, to coffee, forage, nuts, root crops, veggies, and vineyards. Joining the MKV4TR spinach harvester and possibly the return of the 6030 grape harvester, we now have the EPD540E pea harvester. While not in the game, this harvester is also listed as supporting a collection of broad beans, kidney beans, and snap peas. Opening the way up for mod maps to extend the usefulness of this harvester to make use of one or more of these crops in a realistic fashion. I would speculate that there's a good chance we might just see this harvester in tomorrow's fact sheets, but in the meantime, let's run down the harvester's speeds and feeds, so to speak. The EPD 540E uses a Scantia DC09 9.3 liter inline diesel five cylinder engine that produces 396 horsepower and makes use of a hydrostatic transmission. A harvester in real life can come with Midas 800-65R32 front tires or the Kloss Trash, which is how we see it utilized in these screenshots. The real life unit also has auto leveling capabilities, both longitudinal and transverse. So it'll be interesting to see if we get that modeled in the game as well. Auto leveling is not a new thing to Farming Simulator, and those that have used the in-game grape harvesters or the sugar beet harvesters know what this looks like with respect to Farm Sim 22. Further study of the technical specs for the real harvester shows that it has a storage capacity of 3,370 liters of product and a weight of 24 tons. Early in the spring, around March or April, virtual farmers from around the world will take to the fields to plant peas. We'll be looking for a late summer to early autumn harvest between July and September. Peas are planted with a density that will consume 250 liters of seed per hectare and on average will yield 9,600 liters at harvest, assuming conditions were optimal. Just like spinach, a crop already announced for Farming Simulator 25, peas really are not stored and are best sold directly from the field. We know that the average selling price Four peas is going to be $3,119 per 1,000 liters, so that equates out to an average revenue per hectare of just under $30,000. In the provided screenshots, we can see the Great Plains Cedar here from last week's fact sheets, actually, putting seed peas in the ground. So that clears up the mystery question mark on its fill types. Once the peas have been put into the ground, we can finish our field work and fertilization, and then it's watching the fruit, or in this case, the veg of our labors grow. Marching through the various growth stages, we see the initial growth stage after seeding. We would expect to see this in April at the earliest, or basically one month after seeding. The secondary growth stage, which would pop up between May and June, one month later, around June or July, depending on when we put our peas in the ground, we have our third and final growth stage before harvest. And then it's time to harvest, which again, is based on the initial image we looked at today, could be anywhere between July and September. This seems to be a bit off though with the four month growing cycle, so we'll just have to wait and see how it all works out come November. The EPD 540E is a very unique looking harvester with what appears to be a closed in storage tank for our freshly harvested peas and then offloaded to a waiting trailer via a belt that angles down from just behind the operator's seat. Unlike spinach, 
peas do not grow back a second time in the same year. And then lastly, no one wants to see their field look like this because it means that it's all lost, at least until another year. As a final encore to the blog post, Giants now admits that green beans are coming to Farming Simulator 25. So who knows, next week we might be right back here in the fields talking about our fifth new crop to Farming Simulator 25. That's right, if you've not been keeping count, we're up to five new crops for our fields and we know now about three more items for our greenhouses. Farm Sim 25 may be the release with the most new features than any other farming simulator release to date. Two new animal types with goat and water below flow, as well as baby animals. Three new produce for our greenhouses in red peppers, mushrooms, and green onions. And now five new crops with long grain rice, standard rice, spinach, peas, and green beans. And that's before we even start talking about other things like GPS, ground deformation, weather events like twisters, new lighting effects, reflections on roads and machinery, wet tires, water reacting to us as we walk or drive in it with our vehicles, a night sky with stars and a moon with details, third person view, just to name a few. We still have eight and a half weeks to go before Farming Simulator 25 is released. We haven't seen anything of the East Asia map, nor have we seen anything about motorbikes teased in the trailer. With respect to photo mode, what's going to happen there? I'm still holding out for floating logs down the river through a possible tunnel. Now, if this hasn't gotten your juices flowing with respect to Farming Simulator 25, then I don't know what might be. But I will be giving away a copy of Farming Simulator 25 with the year one bundle that includes the first year season pass the weekend prior to game's release. Feel free to register if you are 18 or older and play on PC. Link is down in the description below. Or if you'd rather not try your luck with the giveaway, then why not pre-order your copy today if you've not already done so. If you play on PC, then you can use my affiliate link in the description to pick up the base game or the game plus the year one season pass from the Giants eShop. I do get a bit of a kickback on each sale, so thank you ahead of time, plus it helps move us closer to our goal of becoming a gold partner. If you're maybe looking to pick up the Collector's Edition so that you can have the USB ignition switch, amongst the other things that are included, I have an Amazon affiliate link also in the description. Now while the Collector's Edition does come with the PC version of the game, console players should not be left out as the Amazon link will also let you pre-order a physical copy for PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X or S. Regardless of the platform, if you're not a subscriber, I think it would be a great idea for you to subscribe to the channel because we will continue to bring you the latest information about Farming Simulator 25 leading up to its release on November 12th and post-release I'll be putting out how-to videos related to the new gameplay features and crops, as well as updating my Farm Sim 22 how-to videos for the new game. On top of continuing to produce the most complete map guides for giant space maps, as well as future mod maps and live streams where you can ask any number of questions. If you found this video useful in any way, then give it a thumbs up to help YouTube refer this video to other viewers with similar viewing habits as it really does help in the overall discoverability of the video and the channel. Before we say our final goodbyes for now, be sure to come by tomorrow for round three of the fact sheets for Farming Simulator 25. We'll see if the Oxpow EPD 540E makes an appearance or maybe one of the several green bean harvesters made by Oxpow. Until next time, happy farming.